everyone, how's it going? Uh, just another video for my Final Cut uh, Pro tutorials. Um, I kind of thought people that are wanting to learn this kind of stuff probably are trying to make their own little short films or movies or just make their videos kind of look more professional. So uh, nowadays we see uh, films and movies and videos where it's in kind of a, a widescreen um, a video with the black bars at the bottom and the top just to um, make it look 16 by 9 kind of widescreenish. Um, so in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to simply do that. So there's some there's a couple ways you can actually do this. Uh, the way I prefer I'm going to show you but I'll just let you know about the others. Uh, you can just click on your clip and then stretch it down so that um, stretch the actual let me get the handle on there you can't really do it like this uh, because then you have the black bars all the way around but some people try to do it like that they don't mind the bars all the way around but usually people just want them on the top and the bottom so you can kind of do it that way but the way that I prefer is using uh, just the simple crop feature that uh, is right on the clip so what you need to do is go over to the motion tab so after you double click on your video uh, click on the motion tab and down here uh, you'll have all these tabs you just click on crop and then here you have your left right top bottom and edge feather so the one that you're gonna wanna do is the top and the bottom now doing it this way you're cropping the actual video so you have to be aware when you're shooting your video to kinda make sure that your people or whatever your object is you're shooting is in the middle somewhere um, well not in the middle but just avoiding the bars probably in between here and here because you don't want somebody's head up here in the shot and then your black bar is gonna if their heads gonna be cropped off so you gotta be aware when you're shooting if you're gonna crop it later that you know where the object is and you're gonna be able to crop it without uh, cutting them out of the shot so what I like to do is uh, take the top and the bottom and just uh, put it around 10 or 12 I'll just do uh, 10 for the purpose of this video so that's the top and we'll do 10 for the bottom and there you go you have your widescreen uh, effect that you see in the movies so then I'll just uh, play the video through to show you what it looks like So as you can see, uh, that's with the little bars at the bottom. As you can see here, though, th this tree, say that we wanted that in the shot, we'd have to make sure that it was up a little more because now uh, with the crop on, uh, the tree is cut off. And I was going to mention back here, right here with these leaves, I'm glad that I got that in the middle because it just shows you, um, see how I, I kept uh, this kind of area right here in the middle because I knew that I was going to do this tutorial and I didn't want these leaves to be cut off uh, so that's why I shot it like that so you just gotta be aware if you are going to crop it to make it uh, have the bars the widescreen effect that you gotta know where all of your uh, subjects are that you're shooting or you're just gonna have to reshoot it again if you uh, mess up so thanks for watching uh, this tutorial I'll put some links in the description for other tutorials or it'll be uh, somewhere on the right uh, to click like uh, with a playlist uh, with the other Final Cut Pro tutorials so check those out if you're into editing and there'll be more coming so just stay tuned and subscribe to my channel and uh, there'll be more out so thanks for watching comment rate subscribe and I'll see you guys later bye